So we all know how difficult it can be sometimes to get SARS to pay out your refund. In this video, I'll show you the steps of how you can update your banking details on SARS e-filing and get your refund paid out. I'm Andre Botma, and on this channel, I make tax tutorials and lectures helping you get good with tax. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So the, the first step is to go to secure.sarsefiling.co.za and then you would need to log in. So once you've logged into your profile, you will get to this type of a landing page. And on the top right hand side, you've got the options of user organizations returns. Now under organizations, you can go to SARS register details here on the left. On your profile, if you've got the individual profile, the SARS register details menu option might be under user but in this case i've got a practitioner profile and that's why mine is under organizations and then to the left here sars register details and then you're going to go to maintain sars register details you can click i agree and continue and proceed so once the form has loaded you'll be able to see what you see now and on the top left hand side, you can click the sandwich button and that will open up everything nicely for you so that you can work on the profile. On the left hand side, you've got my registration details, my addresses and then bank accounts. So the first thing that you want to check is you want to go to my bank accounts and then you want to see whether the banking details that you have, if they are valid and if they are linked to your income tax account. In this case, I'm going to change my own banking details to a new bank account. And so I'm going to, so you're going to go to add new bank account, and then you're going to put in the bank account details. And then this is a savings account. And then you can click this button. So you can select the bank here, this Capitec account, click OK. Right. So you've done that. And then you can click on done here on the top right hand side. And you'll see, okay, now you've loaded the new bank and it does, but you see it hasn't been linked to income tax yet. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on this plus button here by my tax products on the left hand side, revenue and go to income tax. Open up your income tax. It should take you to this page. Then you can just drag this down a bit. Let me drag this further. Okay, now go up. Sorry. And then we are going to go uh, select from my bank accounts and you'll see the one you, that you've just added uh, is the Capitec. You're going to click on the one that you want. You're going to click OK and it's going to change to Capitec and then you're going to click Done. All right. So this part is done. Go back to my bank accounts. And now this shows that the income tax is now linked to the Capitec account, the new bank account. So I'm going to delete my old banking details and click OK. And then I'm going to click on File. Then you can click Continue. So I'm just going back to the Ravel one, then back to my bank accounts. And you'll see there you go. Capitec, savings, it's valid and it's linked to my income tax account. In your case, if it shows if it if it doesn't show valid and it shows processing you may have to submit supporting documents when you've changed your banking details and SARS will send you a letter which you can find under if you go to returns you can go to SARS correspondence then you go search correspondence and the letter should show here that SARS is looking for um, banking detail supporting documents. So if SARS is asking for the supporting documents, one of the easiest ways to submit the supporting documents for your banking detail update is to go to tools.sars.gov.za and I will link that in the description. So you're going to say this is a, a supporting documents upload. You're going to put in your case number. You're going to fill out the rest of the details. The documents that you need to upload you can click here document and you can select it 
and then you select the file that the files that you need to upload normally it will be your id or your passport it will be your proof of address and your bank account and then also a selfie uh, a photo of you with your case number um, and SARS should be able to accept that supporting documents and then um, and then validate your banking details like that and so once your banking details so shows valid your refund should pay out uh, about five to ten working days after submitting the supporting documents or updating your banking details like I did so this was a short one but I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video click like or subscribe for more videos like this cheers